Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I am going to share with you some of my favorite drugstore brands. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I did a video where I had done a collaboration with Simply Sheila and we had kind of copied this idea of this tag that Marlene did with Clara. I will link all the videos below. But it was all about 10 drugstore products under 10 minutes, under $10 each, and you couldn't repeat the brand. When I was trying to do that collaboration video, it really brought home to me the fact that I... I am way more a drugstore person than I am a high-end, way more. When I mentioned in the comments to somebody that, let me know if you want to know what my favorite drugstore brands are because there are some brands that I have a number of products that I buy from. And I couldn't do it in that tag because you, could you couldn't repeat the brand. So I started to really think about it and I said, yeah, I will do it because everyone was saying, yes, I want to know, I want to know. And then I looked around and I said, wow, and it was exactly what I thought it was. I, I knew which drugstore brand I preferred, or that, I shouldn't say that I preferred, that I ended up using the most products from. And that was the one I was going to start with. I probably have three or four drugstore brands that I repeatedly buy products from, and none of these that I'm going to share with you are one-time wonders. They're not. They're not one-time wonders. They're products that I've bought over and over again and that I love. So I'm going to start off with the one I have the most of, which is going to be the e.l.f. line. Now I've tried a number of different things in e.l.f. that I've liked over the course of time and I know, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because a lot of the stuff I've already talked to you about, but I mean, the e.l.f. line, I have a number of different things that I like, including brushes. Now, I am a finger person, meaning I apply my foundation with my fingers. I don't, I don't use, I mean, I might use a sponge on occasion to, to pat in, to pat in some setting spray. I might use a, a brush for, you know, overall blending or to put on my blush or contour. And I looked at the brushes that I use over and over again, and it surprised me which ones they were. Because I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. So I have this, put my glasses on. This is a blending brush from e.l.f. I really, I just really like the thickness, the consistency of this, and the fact that I can blend with what I need. This is the one that I use to do my contouring, or to even blend in my contouring, because sometimes I use a, a, a cream contour, but when I use a powder contour, I use this, and this is an e.l.f. brush. One of my favorite brushes, and I've gotten a number of these. I have one in my motorhome. I have one that I travel with. And I have one where I broke the handle off to make it short so it could just stay in my cosmetic bag. And this is the e.l.f. I think it's just the blush brush. e.l.f. blush brush. So these are the three that I use for my face. Over and over again, I bought this one. I think this is my... my I, you know, I, I tend to have two of these. They Sometimes they, they come apart here easier the way I treat them, but I have two of these. I have one of these in the motorhome, and then I have one at home, and then I have the same thing here with this blending brush. So these are the three e.l.f. cosmetic brushes that I would highly recommend if you haven't tried them. This one, this is just perfect. You know, I can do my blush. I can dip the other side in. I can even do contour if I wanted to get away with one. I can do it and turn it again and do a little bit of highlight. All depends on what I'm doing. But I absolutely love these brushes from e.l.f. The other thing, and I don't think I really talked about this much. I, I'm on the fence as to whether or not I would buy this again. And I know I said none of these are one-time wonders, but I've repeatedly used this. I just haven't repeatedly bought it. And this is actually their lip scrub. It is a brown sugar e.l.f. lip exfoliation scrub. 
I've used it a lot. It is very gritty. If you ever have, you know, you have like dry skin, flaking skin you're, you're on your lips and you just want to get rid of it, yeah. I This side is very gritty. I tend to use this side more often than not. And it has an, it smells like sugar, like brown sugar. It does. It's, it's, it's not a bad smell whatsoever. I like the fact that it's in a tube. It lives in my pocketbook. I can apply this anytime I want. And it really takes off the dead skin on my lips. Now this, I don't know, you know, when I'm done, I mean, I play around with lip products a lot, you know, but when I'm done this, we'll see if I buy it again, but I'm using it and I use it all the time. This is not going to be a surprise. This is the poreless putty primer. They do have this in a couple of different um, shades now. I use the shade Universal Share. And as you can see, oh, well, maybe you can't. I've hit pan. So I use this every day. I use it on my nose. I love this. The next thing from e.l.f. that I use every day that I've bought over and over again. For some reason, I just love this palette. And so this is the color correction. And you can see I use the peach, the green, the blue, hardly any of the yellow. But I do use this an awful lot. You can see the colors that I've used. And you can't beat the price. So I love the fact that these are extremely affordable products. I really, I do. So to me, they're like, yes. That brings me to, and I have tried e.l.f. foundations. I've not liked them. I've tried e.l.f., um, different e.l.f. products. I've tried some of their shadows and some of their blushes. I, and I've not liked them. I've given them away. So, you know, for e.l.f. drugstore, those are the ones that I use those particular products over and over again, and I really like them. The second one that I have the most products with, and I'm not even going to show you the Essence Mascara because you guys have seen it so often. Plus, it's in the living room. I didn't bring it in here. But I do use a lot of Essence products. So the ones that I really love a lot is I use their pure nude space lighter it's sort of like a highlighter if if you just want a little bit of a a glow a little bit of a i don't know it kind of like to me it, it it's white ish but it blends in really nice so if you just want to have a little bit of a glow just a light little glow i love this cheap cheap money I also, when this fell apart, and I usually have it taped together. This I've used so much, and this is their banana powder. I really like this a lot. You can't beat the price on Essence. I think their products are excellent. The mascara, I use their mascara. I use their, uh, their eyelash primer. I've used a few other products from Essence that I really like, but to me, yeah, you know, Essence all the way. I just think they they have a great line between Elf and Essence. Wet n Wild, I only have one thing that I really like, which is the cream brulee eye, eyeshadow. And it has to be the cream brulee, not the brulee that you see everywhere. It's the cream brulee. I really like that one a super, super lot. Next up for me, I would have to say it would probably be number seven. I use a lot of number seven products. I love their touch-up stick. I actually use this sometimes to touch up on my nose. I use their foundation. I have the one from the UK. I'm not going to show that because you guys can't get it here in the States. So I use the number seven Lift and Luminate. This is a serum foundation. This has, I think, an SPF of 15 in it. It is not full coverage. It is not full coverage. So with this, I definitely need to work on my veins. You know, I usually do my, my primer and then I use my color corrector on my veins. And then I try to do some sort of, is either the number seven touch up. This is called a blemish touch up. I think it works great for your, your veins. So I use this along with this foundation. I have to set the foundation with a setting spray, but I do that on most every foundation. So a setting spray. I love how my skin looks with this. I really do. It never looks heavy. It never looks cakey. I just wish it was a little bit more of a full coverage. I like my veins to not show as much. So, but still, number seven, I think hands down, I've had a lot of 
skincare products over the course of time on number seven. I've used some of their powders. I've used a number of their products and I really, I really like that line. You can't beat the price on it at all. The other, oh, and I forgot to show you this because this and the Essence line, I use this every day. This is their, their liquid color corrector. I like this a lot. And this I just dot up. It just brightens under my eyes. I've gone through, I, I, this is probably my fourth one. I always buy the pink one. I put it all around here and I just tap it in. I really like this a lot. When it comes to concealer, mention the benefit, that's my favorite. But then I have two drugstore concealers that I really like. But the one that I, I get the most coverage from, which neither one would I put, I would not put, I know many people do, the age rewind, I know many people will put these under their eyes. I can't. I cannot put this under my eyes. I cannot put this under my eyes. I really, I really can't put anything under my eyes. It makes my eyes look horrible. But I really like the Glamouflage, and this is from Hard Candy. This is a concealer that is pretty thick. So, you know, it works great on my veins. It works great on pretty well anything, and I can blend it in. It does not work great under my eyes. I can sometimes dot just a little bit over here where I have this blue vein that you, sometimes looks like a shadow. It's my vein showing. Sometimes I can cover it up a little bit. Sometimes I can cover it up with this, but this doesn't cover it as good as this does. It's just that I would only be able to do this on that spot and, and nowhere else because my eyes would look horrible. Speaking of hard candy, most of the time lately I've been using the City Lips, which I really like. I do have a discount code for anyone that's interesting, interested, but I do like the City Lips Gloss, higher end. But when I'm thinking drugstore, it's the hard candy. The hard candy for the drugstore, I, I just think it's I just think it works really well. They have really pretty shades, tints. I also have the hard candy. I don't know if you guys have ever used this. The lip oil. Oh my gosh. I love the lip oil. I'm into like trying to do lip treatments and exfoliation. So the lip oil is really awesome. The lip glosses are really awesome. I think when I bought these, they were on sale in Walmart. And I want I don't even remember, but I think they're like maybe five, six dollars, if that, a piece. And I don't remember how much of the lip oil is. I use the lip oil when my lips feel really dry, and I like the lip oil a lot. So for drugstore, I think it's I think it's just super amazing. I also use a couple of different blushes. My favorite blush for drugstore, and I use this almost all the time. This happens to be my Avon blush. This is Mad About Mauve. I love this blush. I think, to me, this is a perfect, perfect blush. I love the colors. I love everything about it. The only thing that actually comes close to that shade on me and doesn't wear as nice. The Avon, when I put the Avon uh, blush on, it, it's it's pigmented and it just looks really pretty and it stays on and you can see the two shades are very very close this is the Ulta Beauty Mineral Blush this is the Avon Blush and both of these shades are very very pretty however I like the Avon Blush better it comes it goes on oh, I dropped it, it goes on better it looks better on I also have a Milani I cannot get any color payoff on the Milani it's like a waste of energy <laughs> trying to put that on and actually show it could be that I have the wrong color I just really don't like it and because I'm doing a drugstore video I want to do my whole look in drugstore and I used the city mini palette from Maybelline is the skyscape dusk number 520 when I bought this originally I thought well not that it was really a dupe for my Viseart amethyst but it kind of reminded me of the color theme, and my Viseart Amethyst is my favorite color theme. So when I bought it, I said, that'll be close. The problem with this is, it, it, the colors are close, uh, but they do not blend nicely on me at all. I really have to work harder to apply this. 
so I have to work harder, I have to work longer. There's a lot of powder that comes out that goes over my face, and I know every shadow is going to have powder fallout. But this has a lot of powder fallout. I still like the colors. So today I worked really hard to put these on my eyes. And I used my Ulta Eye Crayons that I, I've shown you many a times. But this is what's on my eyes. And my e.l.f. Cream Brulee. And then this shadow. And then two of the Ulta Color shadows. The black and the lilac one is what I have on my eyes. So my whole look today is drugstore. Yeah, drugstore. And on my head is my John Monet Kristen wig. It's kind of funny. I haven't really played with this wig much. I haven't worn her much. I love the look of this. I really, I really do. But I was watching a video where Taz did color comparison and a little bit of a style comparison using this. And it kind of like inspired me to pull out Kristen and put her on my head. I don't think this I think this is kind of a really cute look. It's very, it's, it's very much a bobby style. A bobby style? Does that make sense? It's like a bob. I don't know if you can see. But it's a straight look. The fibers are really beautiful. I like the fact that it's got a slight little root. It's not like an overwhelming long root. The lace front across my temple looks really good. I just really like the wig. I forgot how much I like the wig. Now it does fall in my, in my face a lot. So I've been trying to train it a little bit. You know, you rub your hands together. You get your hands nice and hot. And then you go like that. And you kind of like press. And you can, you can kind of train a wig. I mean, it's going to take more than the minute, the seconds I just did it. But you can kind of train a wig. Either that or eventually I'm going to bite the bullet and get myself a steamer. I just haven't done that. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, my drugstore. Oh, I also want to tell you, this is not drugstore. But I forgot to mention this in my other video. I received this complimentary from Clarence uh, from the Octoly Network. Really looking forward to trying this. This is a Blue Orchard Treatment Oil for dehydrated skin. I took this with me when I went to Nashville. And when you're traveling, you're out of your routine and all that stuff, you need a little bit extra boost. I use this every day, sometimes twice a day. Put it on in the morning, put it on at night. It has a, 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 a fragrance, but it's a healthy fragrance, if that makes sense. Not like fruity, not overwhelming. It just, is a, it just feels really, really, really good. So I used it in Nashville, put it all over my neck, all over my face, my hands, and away from home, and you fly you absolutely are going to have some dehydrated skin. So this is 100%, let me read it for you, 100% extracts from plants. There's a natural aroma scent. It's got natural preservatives, and it has some essential, essential oils. It really is very, very nice. It felt good on my skin, never was like greasy, just really super, super nice. I like it. So this was sent to me complimentary, and yeah, I really like this. So check it out, guys. So anyways, I think I think I covered, I think I covered all my drugstore, I think. And if I forgot something, I'll have to mention it another time. I've got a, I've got a ton more drugstore products for sure, but I wanted to just talk about the ones that I use over and over and over again, because I think that's more impactful than the one-time wonders. I've got a lot of one-time wonders. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll chat with you later.